Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for takes so lots of the android 12 base custom roms are releasing for oneplus 6 and 60 so we got eight another new android 12.1 base custom rom arrows os thanks to your developer several t for the bringing eight another good rom for us best thing is that developers given the rom and the gfs package separately and the another build with the gfs included so we got the two different options to choose so we can avoid the google apps if someone don't want them I have given the timeline with the installation, what's new in the about section, stability and the performance test, major things working, Android 12 L features working and the final conclusion. Installation is somewhat different because I got the issues of random reboot with the ROM when I flash as you do regular steps in the previous videos. So without further ado, let's get started. On the new adventure. So first of all download the rom zip file here I am using the rom zip file with the gfs included. If you want to flash the gf separately you need to download the rom and the gfs package zip file from the links given under the video description. You need to download the final zip also. Now go to the security setting of the phone and remove all the pins and the passwords. Now by using the power menu option we need to boot to the bootloader or you can directly power off the device and long press the volume up plus power button to boot your phone into the bootloader mode. Now connect it to the PC, open the CMD window and type command fastboot erase user data. We need to do this step because I got some weird random reboot when I flash the ROM without doing this as I am coming from the different Android 12 L ROM. Once done by using the volume keys, select the recovery from the bootloader menu and press the power button. Phone will boot to the recovery mode. Now transfer the ROM zip file and the final zip in the internal storage of the recovery. First tap install and select the ROM zip file, flash it. Now tap add once and select the flash current TWRP. Once done, reboot back to the TWRP. Now tap install and select the final zip, flash it. Now go to the wipe and select the format data and then tap reboot to the system. So we booted with the beautiful boot animation of Arrows OS. Here we guess the Android setup like the stock Oxygen OS, but we previously seen the pixel style setup on the Android 12 L ROMs. Once we done the setup, we will move to the about phone section. This is Android 12 L or we also call it as Android 12.1 base ROM, but version number and the easter egg is same like old Android 12. ROM comes with the latest security patch of 5th March 2022. Kernel version is 4.9.227. Build with the latest LLVM toolchain, as we previously seen in Awaken OS, this version of kernel is more stable version, giving the good performance and the stability. Kernel is enforcing. This is the latest build of 30th March 2022. So first we will do the stability and the performance test for the ROM. First is the Geekbench. I didn't felt any lag or the jitters overall in the ROM, but still the temperature got risen after the first installation and in the same condition I done the first Geekbench test where I got the very low results for the single core it is 493 and for the multi core it is 1822 but maybe this is because of the CPU throttling due to the temperature I done the second test when the phone got cooled down to the some extent and I got the single core 499 and for the multi core it is 1986 but it's lower than its predecessors though I don't believe in the scores because ROM is still working good without the lag. Now let's check the basic sensors are working or not. All the sensors like the accelerometer, light, proximity, magnetometer, compass, gyroscopes are working. Only barometer is not available in the phone so this test got failed. Safety net is the most important part of the phone to run the security related apps. So I done the safety net check using the ASNAC and it's got successfully passed so no worry about the security related apps. Though we passed the safety net, still the Void 1 security test shown the L3 instead of L1. So we can't able to use the Netflix, Disney Plus Hotstar like applications at the full HD resolutions. Now this test I only done for the OnePlus Nord 2 device but today I decided to check this for the OnePlus 6 also. It's a screen touch sensitivity input test. Here we need to slide the fingers on the screen fastly with the different pressure inputs. If you guess the continuous line screen then it has a good touch input rate but if you guess the dotted line with the more gaps in a dot then the screen has low touch input. As the first I got the good lines but later I got the more dotted lines with the space in the dots. So it seems that the ROM has a low touch sensitivity input rate. 
लास्ट चेक इज फॉर द सीपीयू थ्रोटलिंग सीपीयू थ्रोटल मीन्स हाउ मच परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ द डिवाइस गेट्स डिग्रेडेड फेन यू डू द सीपीयू यू इंटेंसिव टास्क वो गेट्स द ग्रीन एंड द रेड लाइन ग्राफ ऑन द टेस्ट इन द होल टेन मिनट्स ऑफ द टेस्ट आई डिड नॉट गॉट एनी रेड लाइन मीन्स फेरी लेस सीपीयू थ्रोटलिंग वॉज हैपन बट द फोन गॉट लॉट वॉर्म टिल द फिफ्टी डिग्री सेल्सियस टेम्परेचर रॉम एज द कस्टम गवर्नर्स इन द कर्नल विच आर हैंडलिंग द थ्रोटलिंग वेरी गुड but it's recommended to don't use your phone if its temperature rises to 48 degree and above i will now check the only major things which are seems buggy on the other roms like the bluetooth it's working in the rom and connecting with the bluetooth devices it's also support the high definition audio like aldac sbc and acc auto rotation and audio in the video music playback working but one weird bug i found that when i played the videos on the youtube it's working with the small lag It's pausing the video for a second and then it's playing it again. But surprisingly after some time it work again. I don't think it is a bug so please tell me in the comment section is it happening with you or not. My SIM card tray was broken so I can't able to check the HD or normal calling. But I cross verified with the some user and it seems working good so please mention in a comment section is it good or not. I tested the VoIP calls using the Telegram and it's working good without the issues. ROM comes with the basic camera which is working still i have given the oneplus camera link in the video description you can install that it has all the features and they all are working like the night sight pro mode time lapse panorama slow motion but the portrait mode for the main camera is only broken it's causing the force close of the camera application another minor bug is the ok google is not working but instead of that you can access the google assistant by swapping from the right or the left corner I also given the root method to activate the OK Google. You can check that in a right side card. Unlimited photo backup is working in the Google Photo application. USB OTG also working in the ROM when you connect the OTG cable. So what about the customizations? As ROM is a pure vanilla build, you can't see many features like the Awaken or the Siberia ROMs. But we get the basic customizations like the dark mode in the display setting. Inside the lock screen we get the double line clock actually this is the Android 12.1 feature if we enable this we can see the lock screen big size clock in a centered position but if we disable it then the clock gets smaller one and shifts to the top upper part of the AOD screen double tap to wake and double tap to sleep is working in the rom and has the separate tap to enable or disable them instead of this all the gestures that we get in Android 12 like the quickly open the camera by double pressing the power button Navigation gestures, customizations, one-handed mode with the notification access, press and hold power button to access the Google Assistant. All these features and the customizations are available inside the settings system and the gesture setting. Playback control to skip the music tracks using the volume keys when the phone screen is off is available and working. But the wake up phone using the volume keys seems not working. LED notification is available only for the new notifications and for the battery notification. We can find that in the battery stats. ROM didn't comes with the monet theming but it has the wallpaper and style tab so we can apply the different wallpaper and change the themes of the device. It has the theme icon and the app grid setting. One thing I noticed that the app didn't have the pixel devices wallpaper. We have to download and choose the wallpaper separately. Only single arrows OS wallpaper is available in built. So let's check the some Android 12.1 features. You can also check the detailed information regarding these features in the Android 12.1 from the right side card video. Here I noticed that the one major feature like the quick switch to the last five wallpaper is not available. I don't know it's specific to me or not, but long pressing on the home screen will get this new setting in Android 12.1. which is not visible here instead of this no new overlay button for the web or the pictures of the recent application in the recent menu which is very helpful to quickly share the web pages or the pictures instead of this overview selection is also not visible maybe these issues are because the rom didn't have the pixel launcher it has the quick step launcher instead but the other features like the quick access to the wifi screen record screen cast by tapping the arrow key in a quick setting tile is available and working double line clock feature that i already shown you is also working here quick access to the weather and the calendar by tapping on the at a glance from the home screen is available instead of these other features of android 12l are visible only for the last screen like the tablets and the pc 
Battery life is not tested yet, but I think it will give the good battery life because it's a pure vanilla ROM and they are known for the good battery life. Still one by one I will do the some battery test videos in upcoming days, so stay tuned. ROM is pretty stable and running smooth. Some minor bugs are negligible, but as compared to the other ROM, it's still lagging behind. So we need to wait for the some time to get more refined build. So that's it for today guys, if I help you, please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.